Hi friends. So I'm here today. I wanted to share with you um, some books that I look through all the time to gather inspiration and color palettes and um, shapes and flowers and things like that. And I think it's so important. I have these sitting around me all the time and I look through them at night. I see what I feel and I love. And I'm kind of old school, so I'm still really into that shabby chic look, which I think now they refer to it as country French or I don't know, something like that. But I still refer to it as shabby chic. So one of my favorite um, people I have followed for probably 15 years is Rachel Ashwell. And I've got a lot of her books. And the reason I like her books is... Um, she does a lot of flea markets and things, and I love that. But what I really love are her color palettes. And what I do is I go through, oh, and see, I even have a dried flower in here that I set in there. So I do that a lot in my pretty picture books. But if you can see here, like this picture, look at how beautiful that color palette is. My nails even match. And... So I will go through here and I will create different color palettes. This beautiful green, like look at that beautiful road. Um, and then I put them in books. She does, she always has done a lot of these dusty roses and greens and mauves and blues. Um, these beautiful florals she always has in her books. So this book brings me a lot of inspiration. I will, if I can find a link for it in Amazon, I will definitely link that one for you because I think she's really just fun. Like, look at what a fun picture that is on the background. And again, I love these colors. I think they're um, beautiful. Another book of mine is, and I think I've shared this one before, it's kind of a smaller book. It's called The Book of Flowers. And I like this one because it has more of a botanical feel to it. So it's got uh, a lot of variations of the common flowers that we all paint. Um, it's got their botanical names. This is, they're actually calling this a cabbage rose, but it almost looks to me like a, a peony. And it's got some bulbs, which are really fun. So these are just kind of fun to play with sometimes. And again, there are things I can look through for some really pretty um, inspiration. And I leave that as well on my studio desk here. This is another one. I don't know where I found this from, probably Amazon. And I just, I loved the colors and she's got several books, Harriet DeWitten. So this is a really good one. And um, I'm getting ready to kind of go through and create some new color palettes. And I'll show you that in a minute. So in looking through this book, um, if you can see that, she does a lot of these color palettes like this and I went through and there's actually I painted this a couple weeks ago not from her book but a hydrangea she's painting it a little bit differently um, but again she does have the color palette so I think those are really fun and I went through this book and didn't use her exact color palette but I went through and created my own and I'll show you in a minute what I like to do every year because I think it's really fun. So this is a really good book. I think you guys would like it. It's Painting Watercolor Botanicals, 34 Projects for Flowers, Foliage, and more. So I'll look for the link for that one. Um, a couple more here. This is another little smaller version, Rachel Ashwell. Shabby Chic Interiors. And again, it's just got really pretty pictures and colors and a lot of the color palettes that I have enjoyed for years. 
And when I'm feeling a little uninspired, I will pull up some of these books. And I always get inspired because she takes really little things and just makes them so beautiful. And she repurposes a lot. So this one is Rachel Ashwell Shabby Chic Interiors. I will look for the link for that. And a couple more here, um, 15 minute watercolor masterpieces. I just found this the other day. So that's kind of a fun one too by Anna. I'm sure I'm going to say her name wrong. Kalia Dick, Ditch. And it's just kind of a fun little book for some simple, I bought this when I was teaching actually um, kids and it had a lot of fun little animals and things and it goes step by step. I did this one quite often with kids, which was kind of like a universe or full moon and planets. So it has a lot of fun step by step and she shows a color palette here. So that one's fun. Here's a landscape and she gives you the color palette and even how she's mixing the colors. So I like that one as well. It's a little bit, looks like a little bit of fruit in here, which I did fruit last week, but I didn't, didn't look in this one. So this is a good one as well. We'll find the link for that. And then my last one, which a lot of you might have, because we all love her so much is, and I haven't to be, I'll be quite honest, I haven't looked in this one a lot, but um, I bought it when I was teaching classes because it gave me um, a little bit of reference for the beginner. Um, so it's our favorite, Emma LaFave. And it's how to paint and unwind in 20 tutorials. Very, very simple. She has the rose tutorials. Hadn't looked at this one in quite some time either. And I know we all love her. She has my favorite color combination here. And I thought it was kind of cool. She even has these QR codes that you can scan those. And to be honest, I haven't done it, but I'm going to assume it takes you to her YouTube tutorial. She shows you lifting and color bleeding, um, some different washes and blending, how to use the brush, compound strokes. So a lot of what I have shared with you as well. Um, and this one is on Amazon and it's a pretty, pretty cool little book, especially for the beginner. I think it's, it's pretty awesome. So what I like to do, and I'm going to make a whole different little video on this because I think it's really fun, is every season I go through and I make these little books. And uh, they're for the different seasons. So last summer I was traveling a little bit more and um, I stayed at a winery, so I did some grapes and these were some of the grape leaves. And I, I like to paint um, plein air. So I did a lot of those, some sunflowers. Um, let me see if I can turn this around. Oh, there's some more sweet peas. And let's see, little different flowers. So I make these books for different seasons. And what I also really enjoy doing is creating these little swatches. So when I get ready to paint, I can just kind of open my book for that season and um, look at swatches. So here was a swatch I did, kind of a palette. And then I created this from that, which was really fun. I liked that one. I was hiking in the hills a lot last summer and um, so I, I did a lot of these kind of hillsides, but I would always create these palettes and then I had them in here for my reference. So I think that's a lot of fun and I would suggest you can go on Pinterest. Here's another little swatch um, and look up uh, Pantone colors of the year. Um, here was another little 
stream I came across. Here was, I did a lot of leaves and I created this little color palette. So I tend to do this for every season. Um, I probably got one here for, that was last spring as well. And here was some color palettes I played with. Um, so create these little books and just have them around for you to, you know, whether you're following my tutorials or somebody else's, you can have all of these in here for reference, all different leaves and color palettes, and you can refer back to these. And here's another where I was working with primaries. I think I was teaching this in one of my classes, secondary, tertiary colors. These are so valuable, and I will link these books. There's, um, these are really, really good ones. I love these. Let me show you the cover. These are my favorite ones. I know a lot of you have gotten these already. You can get a three-pack, and I'm telling you, it's by Artisto. It's 140 pound, cold press. Um, and these are great little books. The, the paper quality is great. So I just opened up a new one. I'm going to start um, putting some new swatches in here of some color palettes I want to play with as I move into summer. There'll be more uh, kind of darker greens and some different colors. And they're really fun to go back and look at. Like I love looking at my fall one because it has a lot of oranges and rusts and pumpkins and um, they're just a lot of fun and they're good because you can make a lot of notes as to things you want to paint or something you see or write down a color and refer back to them. Um, and they're quite fun to go back and look in and see how you've grown and gotten better and keep all your notes. All right. Well, I hope that was fun. Oh, there's one more here. This was one of the first books I ever bought. Of course, we all love her, Jenna Rainey. She's got numerous books out, but she has a lot of good info, of course, in hers as well. A lot of good color palettes, how-tos, um, a lot of the stuff I talk about as well, your primary colors, secondary and tertiary colors. So this is a really great beginner's book too. I hadn't opened a lot of these in a long time, so it was kind of fun to go through all my books. So anyway, I will try to link all of those for you. I will also link this great little uh, book that you can paint in, and they are so fun. I have dozens of these everywhere laying around that I go back and I look at for inspiration. Okay, have a great day, and thank you so much for being here with me. Bye-bye.